YouTube land, what's up? So I'm here with Sam, right? And Sam really does appear to be in bad shape. So I'm going to perform uh, surgery on Sam. Sam has been taking it hard on himself, hasn't been having a proper diet, got some scrapes and cuts and bruises and broken heart. And let's see what all is going on. Uh, Sam has a cramp. Right in his wrist from writing out a very long grocery list. So for $300 here at Cougar's, Cougar's Camp, Cougar's Hospital, we're going to remove this cramp in his right wrist from writing out that very long grocery list. Come on, Sam. You, I've, I've told you before, you know, you have to be careful with yourself, Sam. And then you come in here in places with me, and then I have to chiropract you and relocate your wrist and make it painful. You don't make it easy on me, Sam. Go home and ice your wrist up and take it easy. And my nurse is going to get you bandage up and give you some pain pills, and you'll be out of here. Yeah. $300 you want to pay cash today, you'll miss your bill through the mail. All right. Cash is always good. Cha-ching! Thank you, Sam. We'll get you scheduled for your next visit. Sam bumped his elbow and it's feeling funny. Make it stop laughing to earn big money. $400. I don't like doing these type of surgeries, you know. I don't like dealing with the broken bones and, you know... Cause they don't, they don't, they never want to heal themselves. They never. I tell them to sit still. The next thing I know, they dislocated something. You know, I, I'm not a fan of, it, but you know, whatever. I've got to remove. Oh, Sam. All right, Sam. We got that out. Bandage. Called me back. I have my nurse up appointment. I want to see you within the next uh, six weeks. Sam pulled a muscle while running a race. Now he's limping all over the place. So I got to go in and look at this muscle. Uh, this muscle appears to be weak. Uh, like it's uh, a lot of tension and sh stress. Like it's been trying to compensate for other things. So I got to, you know. Oh, come on, Sam. All right, I got you all straightened out, Sam. Take it easy here. I'm going to have my nurse call you in a set of crutches because I don't want you on that. Would you prefer a, a, a set of crutches or would you prefer one of those little scooter things? You like those little scooter things you see them ride around? Okay, Sam, now you'll have to pay half of that. We're, we only pay so much for it, you know, and then I, you'll have to pay another half of it. All right, Sam, I'll schedule your next appointment. Take it easy, won't you? Sam got a wish. Can you make it come true? Take it out quick, but don't break it in two. Sam's got a wish. So, Sam, I got to go in here and try to get this wishbone out. It's, it's annoying, but I got a feeling it's a catfish bone. I told Sam, I told you to keep sunbe sunbeam bread on hand to try in some water. To You know, these wishbones aren't always the... Uh, you know, with small bones, you know, uh, eating fish. There we go. I, I was able to retrieve, y'all. I was able to retrieve the catfish, the catfish bone. Sam, when he eats, he just likes to swallow whole. Told him. There's bones still in there. He has to be careful. It showed up in my x-ray that I gave Sam earlier. In Sam's leg, there's a horse named Charlie. Lure him out with oats and barley. 400, Sam. Uh, you're going to pay two, and your insurance is going to cover the other two. I've had my nurses check it out, Sam. So we got to try to get in here and get this. You know, Sam, with these Charlie horses, you got to drink more water. You got to drink cranberry juice and stay hydrated. You know, a lot of cramps. Oh, come on. I might have to give you a, a, a IV uh, of hydration to put water back into your system. Sam? Oh, Sam. Charlie's really stuck in here. What were you doing? 
I'm trying to listen, Sam, when you don't stay hydrated like you're supposed to. You don't make my job easy when you come back to the, when you come back. I'm trying to rub it out. I, I know, I put some of this stuff on here to get it out, you know. You and, you got to stop doing these, these activities uh, that put you in a compromising position. You want it so bad that you lock up. Sam, you really got, got us in a situation here, Sam. God. Charlie Horse is never fun, Sam. Nobody likes Charlie Horses, Sam. <sighs> Listen, drink more fluids, will you? And take calcium. Take two to three calcium a day. Maybe, no, no, we'll just start out. I'm going to put you on one calcium a day. Stay in your fluids, Sam. Oh, goodness. I'll bill you. I'll bill you insurance. Let's get you ready for another appointment. Sam's spare rib is now a goner. It's a good thing he's got another. So, this would be a $200 service, Sam. Spare rib. You gotta take care of these ribs and stuff. Uh, back in your football days and stuff, that when you when you cracked it, I never it it never did heal right, Sam. It had a, a hair wire uh, crack in it in the rib, and it it just kind of finally came out. So uh, I want to see you back here in my office uh, six months for uh, what's that post op? Whatever. You get it. Sam's bread basket has been giving him the fits ever since he ate that giant sandwich. That giant sandwich, Sam, it threw your weight off. Be careful about how... I, I see that sandwich with four pieces of bread. You got it stacked and layered. Come on, Sam, that's too much. And olive oil, lettuce and tomatoes and bacon. You know how much salt that is and how much grease that is, Sam? You got to lay off of these things. I'm going to put you on more of a fruit-based, well, it's going to be equal. Less bread, though. Yeah, because that bread, see, that bread, you might want to cut down on your carbs and on, on your breads and stuff, you know, uh, switch over to brown rices and stuff like that. You know, maybe a slice of bread once or twice a day or something. Maybe you'll look into some... Brown bread with honey or something for a dessert or something. That's a little bit. I don't know, but you should, I gotta, I gotta get you, gotta get you away from those breads. They. I don't want to talk about it, Sam. Sam fell down on the basketball court. On the basketball court. Now his ankle is all out of sorts. Sam, I told you. You you can't play with the young Thundercats. The way you do, you're not. Sam, you're now you're not a spring chicken, Sam. Well, it's gonna hurt. I gotta get this thing out and fuse it back together. It's dis dislocated. That's what's going on, Sam. I just need you to bear with me so I can get it out. <sighs> well, I didn't get it out, but I. Popped it back in place. <sighs> Sam, you, we, you've been in bad shape. Sam's scarf was too tight. Now his Adam's apple doesn't feel right. Now, Sam, I'm, I know I'm looking at this. I'm not going to be able to handle this. This is out of my league. Ugh. I'm going to have to send you to a higher profession because what's happened is... Your Adam's apple has dropped, and it's dropped into space kind of where your heart is. I don't know Boom. what happened, but something happened here. So I'm going to have to, I'll call you, uh, I have to get you a referral. It usually takes about two weeks. This is out of my scope, Sam. I won't be able to do this. Not with Adam's apple. And for biblical reasons, you know, this is why I don't perform these type of surgeries. Water on the knee has Sam feeling down. Take it quick before his leg drowns. Sam, you got dead weight around your ankles. What's this about? Your ankles have been breaking down. Why don't you buy a pair of those Yeezys? I heard they're comfortable. I heard they're ugly, but they're comfortable and they're worth the money. 
Tell Sam there are plenty of fish in the sea. Fix the broken heart and earn some good money. $700, Sam, you better believe that there's plenty good fish in the sea. Heart surgery, huh? Open heart, heart surgery. I, I don't like performing these surgeries. These surgeries are dangerous. Hopefully, the 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 odds are, uh, if I can't, I I can I'll, I'll have to send you to you know a higher uh, heart surgeon, uh, or I'll have to get you a pacemaker. Hopefully. Oh, Sam! Guess what? Surgery went well. Sam's feeling nervous about a girl he knows. These butterflies in his belly have got to go. Sam, you letting this woman run your whole life all about approaching her. Just go up to the woman, Sam. Don't know. I'm your, I'm your doctor. I'm your, your shrink. I'm your psychiatrist. I'm everything, Sam. Get the, be a man, you know. I don't got a feeling she'll reject you, Sam. Yeah, do some sit-ups or something and strengthen your stomach or something, Sam. Yeah, because you got the butterflies. It's no fun having the butterflies. Then you can't approach her like you want. So there it is, Sam. You are all in shape now. Better than you were before. I am looking at a brand new Sam. Sam, stand up and show the world how healthy you are and how large and in charge you are and how happy around happy you are to be around all because of your doctor dr cougar wow